Assalamu alaikum uh, Today we are going to discuss about the 888 microprocessor and ISA bus chapter number 9 the part 2 of this video lecture series The hadith of the day is Al Birru Husnul Khulq Niki Ache Akhlaqa Nam Hai Now let's see what we have studied the last time. We are studying about the 8088 microprocessor pin configuration and we have talked about the pin number 1, pin number 20 which is used to give the ground signal of the 8088 microprocessor IC and then we have discussed about the pin number 40 which is required to give the VCC signal or the biasing voltages to the microprocessor IC. After that we have discussed about the from pin number 9 to 16 which is the multiplex address data bus multiplexed address and data bus so multiplex address data means it's carry from A0 and D0 to A7 and D7 so this contains the 8 bit data bus of a TT8 microprocessor external data bus and the 8 bits out of 20 out of 20 bits of address bus As we know that uh, the address bus starts from A0 to A19 and A0 to A7 which is from pin number 9 to 16 and after that A8 to A19 are from pin number 2 to 8 and 35 to 39 of the processor so in today's lecture we see the demultiplexing of pin number 9 to 16 and the remaining address pins from 2 to 8 and from 35 to 39 pins so let's start the 888 IC has 20 address pins from A0 to A19 allowing it to address a maximum of 1 megabyte of memory this 1 megabyte of memory can be calculated from this formula 2 raised to the power size of the address bus gives you 1m of the memory and the pin AD0 to AD7 which is pin number 9 to 16 of this 888 microprocessor IC which provides the A0 to A7 address with the assistance of the latch so this is the latch 74 ls 73 373 which we have discussed last time which is responsible for the latching action as well as the demultiplexing of this address and data pins to demultiplex the address signals from the address data pins a latch must be used to grab the address the most widely used latch is the 74LS373 IC. AD0 to AD7 of the 8088 
microprocessor IC go into the 74LS373 latch and the pin number 25 which is the ALE address latch enable pin provides the signal for the latching action so it is the pin which controls the latch so for the 8088 microprocessor the output of the 73 74 ls373 provides the 8 bit address a0 to a7 while a8 to a15 come directly from the microprocessor which is pin number 2 to 8 and pin number 39 the last four bits of the address comes from a16 to a19 pin numbers 35 to 38 here in the diagram you can see the, blo uh, the block diagram of the 74LS373 latch which is the combination of D latches. Next we move to the control bus in 8088 microprocessor. So, in this slide we will discuss about the pin number 28 pin number 29 and pin number 32 which are responsible for the input output and memory read and write operations there are many control signals associated with the 888 microprocessor however for now we discuss those that deal with the read and write operations the 8088 microprocessor can access both the memory and io devices for the read and write operations this gives us the four operations for which we need the four control signals the first one is memory read operation second one is memory write operation third one is input output read operation and the last one is input output write operation so whenever we talk about the input output read and write operations it means that input read input output read means that we are going to deal with the input devices input read basically and when we are talking about the IO write operation it means that we are going to talk about the output write operation because always the output devices are for the write purposes and input devices are always for the read purposes so we have the three pins like we have already discussed the pin number 28 29 and pin number 32 so we have three pins but we have four operations and we require the four control signals as well so how can we convert these three signals into four signals so we use a simple combinational circuit which consists of AND gate and NOT gate to convert these three signals into the four required signals so write means which is active low signal it means it operates when we give when we apply zero here as in the same way the read signal is also active low it means then we apply zero here then it will work and this pin io slash m which is active low and active high both when we apply one here that it will select the IO devices and we apply 0 here then it will select the memory <clears throat> now for the sake of understanding just take some dummy values to implement this circuit suppose we apply 0 here we apply 1 here and we apply 1 here as well so here you can see that we apply 0 here it means that we are going to write ok and 1 means that this signal will be disabled so 1 here means that we are selecting the IO devices so 
from here we select the right operation and from here we select the IO devices it means that we are going to write we are going to write the input output devices okay so input output write is that pin now implement these values to get this signal now we apply 0 here 1 here one here and one here in the same way when we apply one here then zero on this side because of this not gate one here zero here zero here and one here and when we apply one here then this becomes zero because of the not gate and zero here and zero here so this end gate will be disabled this also be disabled and this also we will be disabled only this will be active so we will get one here and this not gate make this one to zero and we will get the input output right operation now take another value suppose you apply one here you apply zero here and zero here now in this case as you can see that we have selecting the read operation and we are selecting the memory so when we apply one here after this not get this becomes zero and zero here as well zero here and when we apply zero here this will be zero this will also be zero and this becomes one so one here and one here and this zero becomes one here one here and one here so take a look we can see that this this will be disabled and this also will be disabled only this will be active so which is the memory read operation so this is the read signal and here we selecting the memory so this will be active now in the next slide we can see the bigger picture for the address data and control bus so in this IC we can easily see that from AD0 to AD7 which is from the pin number 9 to 16 and multiplex address data bus can be demultiplexed with the assistance of the latch 74LS373 and the output of this latch will give us only the address A0 to A7 and without the latch we will get the data from D0 to D7 which is the data bus 8 bit data bus of the 8088 microprocessor now the remaining pins from A8 to A19 which is from the pin number 2 to 8 and from 35 to 39 of the IC gives us the 20 bit address bus and the pin number 28 29 and 32 these three pins gives us the four required signals to control the four operations with the assistance of a simple combinational logic